my pleasure to welcome you to the Sefaku Mahatu Presidential Guest House. The first Saturday in November is National Children's Day in our country. There can be no better occasion to mark Children's Day than to spend some time celebrating the achievements of South African children and the youth. In most cases, we use Children's Day to highlight and raise awareness about negative things that affect children, such as abuse, rape, and neglect. In highlighting the negative, we tend to omit balancing it with the positive. We hardly showcase the wonderful achievements and successes of our children. We decided to do things differently this year and celebrate your achievements. And the ESCOM Expo for young scientists is the best way to do so. We are happy to host budding young scientists and appreciate we are sharing these exciting science projects and innovation with us. It indicates the potential of this country. What this country can offer. I can tell you some of the things some of you are explaining I can't even repeat. Too complicated for my little mind. And how you make this little machine move and perform the kind of things you were performing is just out of this world. This makes some of us who are so proud about South Africa even to be more prouder, particularly with you, the young ones. Government's biggest challenge is to make maths and science exciting and popular with learners. We don't know how to do it. The manner in which we talk about maths we have even made young people afraid of it. It looks like it's a big animal. <laughs> in you, we have living proof that maths and science can be exciting, inspiring, and interesting. Through you, we want to encourage more young people to take up maths and science as subjects. You know, I was once a chancellor in one university and I was capping the students as they were passing through. And there were quite a number who were passing with distinctions. Guess what was the subject that dominated distinctions? Biblical studies. Not because I don't want people to study the Bible. All I'm saying, people go for easy kind of subjects to avoid the mind to be trained, hard trained, so that it produces the best. Science offers students the ability to access a wealth of knowledge and information which will contribute to an overall understanding of how and why things work the way they do. Through science, you will be able to explain the mechanics as you are doing and reasons behind the daily functioning of complex systems, which range from the human body to sophisticated to modern methods of to transport run a diet. up to the workings of the square kilometer array telescope that our country won the bid to construct. Through producing more science and technology graduates, we are assured of a brighter future economically. It means our economy will have all the scientists, technologists, engineers, artisans, and other skills that we need for economic development. We will have all the expertise 
we need to prevent and cure diseases or to fight poverty through better agricultural methods. While the education system in our country is gearing itself to provide the required maths and science teaching, we need support beyond the school year. We therefore congratulate ESCOM for supporting this program and its role goes beyond keeping the lights on. Our state-owned enterprise or companies rather must invest in education and skills development. They must invest in our youth, the future of this country. Congratulations to all of you for making us proud and showing interest in the field of science. Congratulations on your hard work and innovation that enabled you to win the ESCOM Expo, Expo for Young Scientists Awards. The future of this country is in your hands.